Hello students, let's do the happy possum. Use the given square grid to find the probability of the events. Help, number ones are green, number twos are red, number threes are yellow, number fours are blue, number fives are purple, and number sixes are pink. So to kind of help with the number search, I've kind of color coded them a little bit. So here we go. If you pick a color randomly, find the probability of red. All right, so red, how many reds are there? Well, there's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Double check. Yeah, there's only ten reds. Ten reds. Now, what's a quick way to find the total number of squares? Well, let's check here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wasn't well, that nice? Ten left and right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's a ten by ten grid. That's one hundred. So the probability of Choosing a red or a two um, is 10 out of 100, which is, I think it's just 10%. That's pretty easy. That's not too bad. Okay. Probability of not green. Um, well, oh boy, what are we going to do? Do you want to count all the ones that are not green? Probably not. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to count all the greens and then just do the opposite. So here we go. How many greens are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, there's 19 greens. So if we have 19 greens, okay, how many are going to be not green? Well, if we have 100 total squares and we take away the 19 greens, that means 81 of them are going to be not green. So 81 out of 100 is, oh shoot, there's no room. I didn't make the, the blank big enough. You would fit an 81 right in there. There we go. Okay, cool. We're almost done. Now what are we doing next? Oops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to erase it. My bad. Let's erase all this noise. There we go. Go away. Extra stuff. Give me one second. Um, so if you want to get a head start, we're probably going to need to start counting the pinks or the yellows. So we need to combine them. So let's do pinks and yellows. Here we go. And here we go. All right, let's do yellows. Yellows are pretty easy to spot. Let's go left and right. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two. Okay, so there's twenty-two yellows. Pinks, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and 16. All right, here we go. So yellow or pink, we would add 22 and 16. 22 plus 16, let's see here, we'd have an eight. We'd have a three, 38. So 38 out of 100 is going to be a, fitted in there nice and neat like, a 38% chance of getting a pink or a yellow, or yellow or a pink, same difference. All right, so just take your time with this one. I think I always have it be 10 by 10 for the grid. So you're always going to be dividing by 100. Again, the number one thing when you're doing these probabilities is you always want to find the sample space. You always want to find the total. Um, so if I didn't uh, make that an important point, I am now. All right, cool. That's it for the Happy Possum. See you in class.